Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2017 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we're here at Panasonic's awesome booth, and we have uh, Sean Robinson. He's going to go over the brand new GH5 camera. Yep. Sean? How's it going? Good. It's nice seeing you again. You too. Um, yeah, so uh, we announced the GH5 uh, yesterday at our press conference, and uh, there's been some insane improvements on this camera um, from previous generations, GH3, GH4. Um, probably the most notable thing that, that we're getting is uh, we added 5-axis in-body stabilization in our dual IS2 system. Uh, so the sensor shift stabilization pairs with the optic stabilization, gives you an extra um, uh, extra level of stability in the vertical and the horizontal uh, okay. shift areas. But then we also added stuff like 4K 60p internal recording, 4K 30p and 24p that's in 422 10-bit color. Jeez. <laughs> uh, 4K 60 will be in 420 8-bit. Okay. But if you want 4K 60p in 422 10-bit, out over the HDMI to an Atomos Inferno, we'll let you record into that, that um, stream. It's a new sensor, it's a 20 megapixel micro four thirds chip with the low pass filter removed. Okay. Uh, so for still shooters, it's gonna be a, a big improvement over what we've, we've had before. Uh, and even things down to like, we changed the color science, so colors are more natural looking. Um, we added uh, auto ISO implementation with minimum shutter speed for still shooters, uh, with the ability to use exposure compensation during the video recording, oh, wow. and in stills, and in full manual. Okay. Um, so we've massively bulked everything up for both stills and video shooters across the board. Nice, and I also noticed that uh, you're going to have two SD uh, card slots on this? Correct, yeah. So the GH5 implements two UHS-2 class card wow. slots Okay. Uh, that allow you to do some relay recording or uh, distribution recording nice. uh, and even like the overrun recording yeah. so it, it lets you really take the camera and do what what you know ten thousand plus camera ten thousand dollar plus cameras have been able to do okay. uh, now for a two thousand dollar price point nice yeah and what on the cards what are the largest sizes right now that can uh, are accepted on in this camera so the camera will it's SDXC compatible which means it'll also be able to run all the way up to whatever I think the theoretical top limit for UHS two cards is, okay. so I think it's like two terabyte or something like something that. Something like that, yeah. So yeah, you'll you, you won't have a problem with storage on this camera. Okay. Any other features uh, on this new model? Yeah. So we've uh, we've upped the 4K photo in the six and uh, that whole process that we we've, we've started. Okay. Uh, we've now added 6K photo, so 6K photo works in a 4:3 or a 3:2 aspect ratio. Wow. And it records the image density of 6K video. Okay. It's about 18 to 19 megapixel. And then allows you to take the frame out of that and store it as a high-res JPEG in 18 or 19-ish megapixel. Okay. Uh, like the other cameras, it adds focus stacking and, uh, uh, well, post-focus focus stacking. Uh, and a lot of the bracketing things. Uh, we've added a new uh, XLR audio okay. uh, uh, adapter here that takes place of the YAGH that the GH4 came out with. So this unit is powered through the hot shoe and sends the audio information through the hot shoe, okay. but also allows you to record high-res audio. Wow. So, and that's all internally. Now to do the high-res audio, you have to record an MOV, but it lets you do all of this in one package for, if you get this piece, this will be $399, you have uh, 2000 for the body, so you're talking around $2,500 total if you're, you're with memory cards, or like, well, maybe more, um, for a package that honestly probably won't be beat for a very long time. Yeah, that's, that's a good price uh, <laughs> range right there, I mean, for this type of camera and the features it has. Oh, yeah. Um, we also did some other cool stuff too for the uh, shooters that, that use external recorders. Uh -huh. So the GH3 had the mini HDMI port, yep. the GH4 so went there. to the micro HDMI. Correct. This is a full-size Type A. HDMI port. So okay. you got full size, really rigid, nice and solid. Um, we also added, there's a cable lock that comes in the box for it. So you can make sure, you know, just even more stability, making sure everything's there. Uh, it's now uh, USB type C okay. for the connector. And you have your headphone jack and your mic input. And the headphone jack is actually moved up slightly from the GH4. So the interference of moving the screen around. Uh, is is less uh, than on the GH4. Yes, yes. There's still a little bit of an interference there, okay. depending on what what kind of headphones you're using. Um, but instead of having to come out here to change it, you can go pretty much about right there to 
jump around on it. And the battery is uh, the same as the GH3 and the so 4. That's probably one of the coolest parts. It is the same battery from the GH3 nice. and GH4, nice. okay. and there is a marginal de decrease in longevity of the battery with all of the things we've packed into this. So you're still going to get that that kind of class leading battery life and performance that, okay. the, uh, that the rest of the cameras have always given. And just the body alone, uh, the price is around 2000 Yes, yeah, so the body alone in the US is going to be uh, 1999 uh, there is also a new lens that we announced with it, the 12-60 oh, okay. Leica. It's oh, an wow. f2.8 to f4. Okay. Uh, that has uh, the dual IS2 compatibility. It's um, updated to match the new weather ceiling that's on the GH5. Uh, GH5 allows uh, added freeze proofing to it. So okay. it's down to negative 14 degrees Celsius. Wow. So the lens is now also compatible that way. Um, it's dual, like I said, it's dual IS2 compatible as well. Um, and the lens is going to sell for $9.99 on its own as well. Okay, sounds good. Oh yeah. And when will this be available? So GH5 is going to start shipping in uh, middle to the end of March. Okay. Uh, well, actually end of March into April. Okay. Um, so a few months from now. Sounds good. So can I special order one right now? <laughs> you can order them at any of any of the photo specialty dealers or Panasonic.com or any of the, you know, any place you can find a camera. Okay. Um, so yeah, pre-orders are being taken now. Um, there's a ton of content that we've posted online uh, that we've had shot from Griffin Hammond, Luke Newman, okay. uh, and a number of people that we have on display in the booth here as well. Uh, Griffin Hammond shot a video called Hand Cut, Hand Cut. which is about, uh, it's all shot in 4K 60p, and it's about bars in Manhattan in spherical ice cubes and things like that, and it, it's, it's a really, really cool video we did there. And then Luke Newman shot a video for color grading to show how flexible the camera is with V-Log. Um, that's called uh, Beyond the Grid. Uh, and all of those are posted online as well. So okay, great, you guys great. can see those things and take a look. Okay, well, thank you, Sean. Thanks very much.